Yeah. What, your, what you call that knowledge? What is it called? You, you said you study or what is uh, it? Cosmic intelligence. Cos cosmic intelligence? Cosmic intelligence. All right, so with the cosmic intelligence, I got another question for you. How many hours are there in a day? We are limited by time. Give me Genesis 1 and 1. Watch this. Bring it out. Watch this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning. In the beginning. When is that? When is in the beginning? Because that notates a time period. In the beginning. Of whose beginning? Well, the author is already here. The author is already here. But he's saying in the beginning. Whose beginning? Our existence. Right. Read. In the beginning, God created. So who created time? The Most High God. He created the beginning. That's when time started. Right. We all have a deadline. You're going to live a certain amount of time. And you're going to perish. So time is real. Right. Right. We exist in it. Watch this. Thank you. Verse 2. And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So let's break that down. It says, in the beginning, you got time. It says, God created the heavens and the earth, space and matter. Without those things, nothing can exist. See, right. So the most I set us up from the beginning. Before this, we weren't, we weren't there. Well, I take that back. You said energy always exists. Yeah, we weren't here, but we wasn't on this planet. Right. Right? I ain't gonna, I'm not going to go too deep with you. If you want that understanding, you got to come into the doors and learn more. Right. All right? So, yeah, the Most High is the, uh, the author of all things. Now, my question was, how many hours are there in a day? I just want to make sure your understanding is lining up because you said some things. Well, boom. Okay, the brothers understand it. So, when does a day start and a day end? It starts when the sun passes? Well, it never rises. But, but it never rises when it's passed. Okay, so, so, so. I say sun passes, but my teacher will say sun rises. So, sun rises, sun passes. So, if you're saying there's 12 hours in a day, right? So, 12 hours in a day. Well, uh, uh, hold on, let me say that back. To be honest with you, this, this planet is super dark. This, this is a dark planet. Go, go to Genesis. We're right there in Genesis. Give me um, the first day. Watch this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So the Bible says the evening, and you come back up, and the morning were the first day. Evening and morning. So the day ends at what time? Cause, cause, think about it. Evening, meaning when the sun disappears, that's your day, right? It's only twelve hours in a day. So, when the sun goes down, we're already into our next day. You understand? I'm just again checking your knowledge to make sure that it lines up with the Most High's knowledge. Right. All right. Uh, give me Malachi 2 and 7 and I'm going to hand the mic back. Malachi 2 verse 7. Watch this. Let me show you what knowledge is. We're not, we're not here to break you down or anything like that. We're, we're building. I've been following you. You didn't even know that until now. Yeah, all praises. I knew something. I got out at Hardy and seen y'all. I walked. Okay, where do you see yourself at on this sign? though? At the top. At the top. Judah. All praises. Watch this. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7 for the priest's lips should keep knowledge so we're the priests we're the priests come back again that energy never died we came all we came right back again we regenerated we're here again right watch this so it says the priest's lips should keep knowledge we always had knowledge right and we're gonna keep bringing this knowledge back every time we come right watch this what's that knowledge and they should seek the law they should seek the what the law at his mouth. So all we got out here is God's laws. That's the knowledge that we bring it back to our people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain.
IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.